Ken McGregor is something of an enigma to most people. He's part collector, part curator and part gallerist. He represents a number of artists in the Western Desert and is well known everywhere he goes in the desert. An accomplished bushman, Ken is able to exist in the harshest, most extreme conditions for extended periods. He also understands the Aboriginal mindset exceptionally well. And he's also a definite opinion on the issues surrounding the community art centres and how Aboriginal art is collected in Australia today. Uh, Ken, can you just describe a bit for me the, the difference between the private gallery and the government-run art centre? What's the difference? You've got the government-run art centres which are in the communities. It's supposed to be Aboriginal-run, Aboriginal-managed, which is not actually quite true, but there's a lot of money poured into those places to keep them going. Most of them aren't profitable, but they have a wonderful advantage because they're subsidised and they do give everybody a canvas that walks in from the community, um, so it gives them something to do. So if they can encourage them to learn how to paint, some of them hopefully will be perhaps good artists in the future, you know, one out of a hundred or whatever the statistics. Now the private dealer, um, in my opinion, is just as important as the government ones because what they do is provide a service to the very good artists. Most of the very, very best artists have actually, in fact, come through the private dealers. So dear Dorothy Nappengardi um, worked uh, for Gallery Gondwana in Alice Springs and was looked after and managed by, by them very successfully. At Yander Art in Arapia Napajimpa, or Mrs Bennett, she was looked after by Chris Simons. So we're talking about the very best, you know, the pinnacle, if you like, of the Indigenous art market. The most successful ones, in fact, come through private dealers. And the list goes on and on. You know, you talk about Paddy Bedford up at Cullinella, was was managed by Tony Oliver. So, um, you know, the proof's in the pudding and, and um, I, I, you know, I would really like to see in the future, and it is changing, I mean, because people, even the collectors and that are becoming more aware of, of things. I would like in the future to perhaps both these systems and, and methods of working embrace each other for the, you know, to get the quality of work and the benefit and, of the Aboriginal artists and the Aboriginal people. <laughs>